Hi, I'm Matthew Murray, lead analyst of Components and DIY with PCMag.com, here to show you how to install a processor in your desktop computer's motherboard. Now, when we install processors, we usually do it with the motherboard outside of the case so that you have a lot more room to work, and that's what we're doing here. First thing to do is open the motherboard socket. To do that, find the metal rod here that holds it down, pull it out, lift it up, and the socket will raise. Before you do that, though, find out which corner has the triangle on it. You'll need to know this in a minute. In our case, it's right here. So we found that. I'm going to lift up the socket cover. Now, once you have your processor, find the golden triangle on it and line it up with the corner where the triangle appeared on the socket. Place it in very gently. Then close the cover. Once you've done that, you need to add the CPU cooler. Uh, in our case, this has thermal grease attached to it. You might have to add some yourself if you're buying your cooler separately. This is a stock cooler, so we don't have to do that. So all we're doing is we're lining up the posts on the side here so that they all go through the holes. Then press down on opposing corners to secure the fan, like so. If you try to tug it up gently and it doesn't come up, you know you're okay. Then simply plug in the heat sink to the... Um, to the proper plug on the motherboard, and you're ready to go. This is how you do it with an Intel LGA 1155 motherboard. There are a couple of other possibilities, and here's what you have to know about those. If you're using an Intel LGA 2011 motherboard for use with the company's new and faster Sandy Bridge Extreme processors, there are two bars that you need to open, and instructions printed on the socket will tell you which one you need to open first. After you've put the processor in, close them in the opposite order, and you're ready to go. If you're installing a CPU in an AMD motherboard, the process is a little bit different again. We have a bar here, but it's of a slightly different type. So you pull it out, lift it up, and the socket shifts ever so slightly. Line up the triangle on the processor with the triangle in the socket. Place it in very carefully. You really don't want to bend these pins. Then push the bar down and lock it into place. So the cooler for AMD processors is really where the major difference is here. Just place it down on the processor like that, then line up the metal clip with the plastic hook, then just slide the bar back to secure it in place. And that's all there is to it. For more tips on installing computer hardware, check out PCMag.com.